It's a procedure that's revolutionised the way doctors replace damaged heart valves. But in some patients, life-saving keyhole surgery can lead to stroke. Now, a new device designed to reduce that risk is being used by Australian doctors. A new heart valve ready to be implanted and placed inside a damaged, worn-out one. It only takes a tiny cut in the groin to deliver the aortic implant through the hip artery. 88-year-old Barry Little relieved it was the least invasive option to treat his problem heart, which was getting worse. My cardiologist said, this, you've got trouble coming and now's a good time to deal with it. But with this surgery, there's a 2 to 6% risk of patients developing a stroke. Stroke is probably our major concern. Um, you know, many patients seem to fear a disabling stroke more than they do death. Surgeons at the Sydney Adventist Hospital have adopted a new approach. Two tiny filters are delivered through the wrist to the top of the heart. They open like parachutes at two of the main arteries to catch any debris that might travel to the brain when implanting the new valve. This embolic protection device seems to reduce you know, stroke uh, events in the first three to seven days by up to two thirds. It's those results which prompted the hospital to use this new device, which doctors say adds only six to 10 minutes to the operation. This is some of the dislodged debris from recent cases, bits of calcium, tissue, and even blood clots blocked from entering the brain. The SAN is now one of a dozen centres across the country that's using the device, which has a government rebate. Barry Little says it was good insurance. He's got his energy back and continues to work as an architect. I can do a day's work all day, and uh, so I work in the garden as well as work in the, on the computer and drawing things. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.